going back to the Manhattan Project. Wow, that was a really slow intro. In a cave. <laughs> I'll let you take this part. <laughs> yeah, so uh, some of you may have watched a little video I made that uh, showed our we had a flood here in the Manhattan Project, and that might explain the, the weird audio. Uh, we're just going to try and make do with that, but we do apologize. The I'll send pictures, but uh, we have concrete floors, which used to be carpet, and there's two feet of drywall missing where they're going to have to fix that as well. So we're going to kind of limp along here for the next however long this process takes until we can get back to where we were. But uh, we didn't want to uh, not produce content during this time, so we're doing something highly unusual here. And we've really stepped our game up with the quality of the whiskeys that Todd's going to be sampling today. As you guys can see, we've got uh, five ultra premium, uh, highly sought after, allocated whiskeys in mini form. Well, the good news is they're not bottom shelf because they came off with a different rack. You know? This is true. <laughs> <laughs> Technicalities. So, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got the bottom of each of these bottles labeled with a number one through five, just randomly put out here on the bar. And I'm going to pour them into these shot glasses and Todd's going to sample them. I am. And he's going to give us his honest critique and how he feels about them. And then Todd's going to give us his one through five and then we're going to see what he, uh, what he came up with. Right. Um, so back when we started the Manhattan Project, we decided that no, while you're talking, sorry, okay. I'm going to go ahead and I will go not over look here. at what you're doing. Yes, don't do that. Um, <clears throat> back when we started the Manhattan Project, we decided that no whiskey was no American whiskey was off off limits as far as which whiskey makes the best Manhattan, including some of these bottom shelf ones you know, like Jack Daniels, Jim Beam. We're now what two. Two years, two plus years into it, and we've sampled many a whiskey in Manhattans. And the lower proof bottom shelf ones have not done well at all. Probably the lowest proof one we've had has been an American single malt, and that was phenomenal. But anything under 90 proof has not really done well in a Manhattan. So we're kind of going to try and stay, steer away from these moving forward. And look for better quality whiskeys, uh, higher proof, I should say, unless we hear from somebody that says, you have to try this in a Manhattan, then of course we'll try it. But for now, moving forward with just better whiskeys. Yes. How are you doing over there? I'm about done. Okay. You can't see any of my magic over here, can you? I can't. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're transparent. <laughs> I am pretty skinny. I don't know, just to mix them up again so that I don't really know what I'm doing. We'll do that. We're just going to leave these sit here. Yeah, and yeah you can see we weren't going to dirty up uh, glassware for this this episode. Yeah. We, uh, we kept it classy with uh, red plastic solo shot cups. Actually, so how do, do we want to do this where you grade them one through five, or do we want to do this where you try to match them? Let's do the match and, and grade it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. All right, cool. So Now, a couple of these I haven't had. Um, obviously, Jim and Jack I have. Uh, what's Southern Comfort I probably had at some point and threw it up. Um, yeah, Southern Comfort Black. I've never had that one. Lone Hand Tennessee Sour Mashed Whiskey. Never had that either. Uh, this is the only one that I've... These are all 80 proof, right? That one might be slightly higher. No, nope, it's 80. Okay, so they're all 80. 80. Yep, we'll go with that. I like it. All right, so there's the ethanol shouldn't be higher than any, any one of them. Correct. All right, so I start with number one. Number one. All right. Let me smell it first. It's whiskey. It's cheap whiskey. Okay. I'm going to guess that's Jim Beam. Okay. So we're going to put that next to Jim Beam. Oh, I'm going to look foolish. Well, I don't drink this stuff very often, so I'm not going to look foolish anyways. Nope. It'll be fine. <clears throat> that 
that's very sweet <clears throat> too. I don't remember which one was which. Um, I'm going to say that's Southern Comfort. Okay. Dang, look at us. We're just going right down the line. I mean, I even mixed them back up again when I sat them down. Wouldn't it be something? Oh, damn it. That tastes like Jim Beam. <laughs> <laughs> that well, tastes more like Jim Beam than that. Okay. What well, are, my other, can, what are can, my other options? You can change them up if you want to change them up, too. So you got Jack, and then you have Evan Williams, and then you have this uh, Sour Mash thing. Lone Head. Yeah, let's put this where Jim Beam was. Okay. And do you want to sample that one one more time? Yeah. I'm going to, I think this is a sour mash. Okay. That's this one. Okay. Okay. Number four. Can I do number five too? Sure. <laughs> I mean, you're between Jack and Evan. Oh, this sucks because I know I've, I know one of these is not Jack Daniels. I'm gonna do this. So you got four is Jack Daniels. Yeah. And five is Evan Williams. Yeah. All right. Do you want to revisit any of these? No. All right. Well, let's start with the one that I'm pretty sure you got right based off of the smell. Yeah. Very, so very sweet. Number two you had as Southern Comfort. And Southern Comfort okay. is number two. Good. It's not a, at least it's not a skunk. All right. So we've got that one correct. Push that forward a little bit. All right. And then let's go with number three. So you pick number three as the Jim Beam. Jim Beam was number one. Damn. Should have gone with Damn. your gut. So we'll pull that one back. So what... Well, let's figure out the ones that you got wrong, and then we'll figure out what they actually were. Okay. Well, that's the problem. You get one wrong, you get get one one wrong, you get two. At wrong. least two. Yeah. yeah. So number four you had is number three, which was the Jack Daniels. Number five you had is number four, and then obviously that one we know. All right. One out of five is not bad. One out of five is not bad. <laughs> that's horrible. I mean, it's the one that. That I could, doesn't smell like any doesn't yeah. smell like regular whiskey. That, that is one of the sweeter whiskeys I've had, just straight out of the bottle. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, and I haven't been drinking anything low proof recently. I mean, maybe yeah. maybe a Jack and Coke a couple weeks ago. So, like my my palate is not refined to this at this point. <clears throat> All right, so we've established that you suck at, at guessing whiskeys. <laughs> and that apparently Southern Comfort is very easy to guess and nothing else. All right, so now we're going to do something a little bit different. We should go grab a Coke and then let me try, try it out. <laughs> well, it tastes, like, it tastes like Jack and Coke. Um, all right, so now you're going to revisit. Okay. And I, now I want you to rank them from one to five of your favorites. All right. So this is obviously number one right now. Um, you said one to five? Yeah, rank them for least of, uh, most favorite to least favorite. Okay. Um, three. Three? Mm -hmm. All right. And then we're going to do the Southern Comfort. I don't know. That tastes like flavored whiskey to me. It's so well, sweet. It is. I'm going to put that on the bottom. Okay, five, three. Wait, Southern Comfort is flavored? Yeah, it is natural flavors and caramel color. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, a, I don't know what the actual flavor is, but Southern Comfort is flavored. Okay. All right, so now you have Jack. Oh, well. yeah, the, sorry, the shot glass. So we have one and three so far. Yes. Okay. Now that I know what this is, it's totally Jack Daniels. Yeah. I'm going to leave this one because I, I would rather rank it based on Compared these to those. Two. Yeah. Okay. So four is the Evan Williams. Mm-hmm. 
Is that a good or bad? Mm -hmm. That's lower than Jack Daniels. Okay. So, this is my least favorite of these three. Jack Daniels being my number five. Okay. So now, do you like this one or this one more to determine third and fourth position? Because fifth position, you had the SoCo. Right. Um, what's your question? <laughs> <laughs> Get with the program. Do you like the Jim Beam or this Lone Head more? Jim Beam. Okay, so then this goes here, and then this goes here. <clears throat> so this is probably more of a case of familiarity to me. Sure. Um, like, I don't care for the Southern Comfort. I don't like sweet whiskeys. Um, Jim Beam and Jack Daniels, I mean, they're classics. Sure. Um, yeah, I think I'm happy with those picks. And they're, so you have, they're, they're honest picks. So you have Jim Beam, Evan Williams... Jim, uh, sorry, Jack Daniels, Evan Williams, Jim Beam, Lonehead, and Southern SoCo. Cup. Yeah. SoCo Black. Yep. Perfect. All right. Well, there you have it. You guys just got to witness Todd <coughs> pound a few whiskeys. <laughs> no expense. <laughs> no spare, expense bar, uh, spared, spared for, here. for this episode. Uh, probably, what, 10 bucks for, for all that? Something like that. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Anyways, that was good. It was fun. Yeah, that so, was good. Something different. So anyway, so there you have it. Uh, there's our shenanigans for the day. Uh, Todd definitely cannot guess whiskeys based off of smell or taste. Cheap whiskeys, at least. Well, we're going to revisit this, but with better whiskeys. Some things Correct. Will, things will be on the shelf back here. Yeah. Which we're going to have to replenish because it looks like a lot, but these are a lot of things that are not normally on the shelf, too, just because we had to get it up off the other places because of the flood. Well, you know what is a lot? This. Yes. Half gallon filled of the random whiskeys that we've consumed. I do have a spreadsheet somewhere on those, but uh, haven't visited it in a minute. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe one of these days we'll taste that too and we'll do a higher end version of this uh, at some point here in the near future. But yeah. Yeah, let's wrap it up. What are we wrapping up? This, this whole thing. Oh, this, this whole thing, thing we're okay, doing, fine. yeah. All right, yeah, so we're going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, thanks for sticking around and watching us make fools of ourselves a little bit. But it was all in good fun. Yes. Until next time. Peace. Peace out.